Hi, I'm Janet and I'm a volunteer for the Lincoln Park Conservancy and I'm here today to do a wildflower tour which we do regularly in the summer but we have some special circumstances so we're doing this one on video. We're also in a special area. We don't usually get to walk within this fenced area so we're able to get up close to some very interesting early spring wildflowers. We're looking at Virginia bluebells, one of the early spring flowers. We see them everywhere in the forest preserves, in these beautiful mounds. Here we can really easily see the pretty little sort of crinkled pink buds that we have on the Virginia bluebells before they turn into this sky blue bell-shaped flower warm day they're full of bees buzzing with bees literally that crawl up into the little bell to pollinate them and they have a scent that's often described as smelling like Fruit Loop cereal and I have to say it really does sort of smell like Fruit Loops so this plant is going to bloom get pollinated and then go dormant by midsummer so it's called an ephemeral it will conduct all of its business in a short period of time and there'll be no trace of it by the middle of summer. Now we're looking at some of the bluebells which in spite of the name are white and it's not terribly uncommon to find some variation in the flowers. You'll sometimes see some pink and then also white but they're all still Virginia bluebells. I'm really excited to be up close and personal with this beautiful white trillium. So trillium, tri means three, and there are plenty of things in threes on this plant. We have three white petals, we have three green sepals, and the leaves have three, the leaves are sort of a collar of three around the base of the flower. beautiful spring understory plant that blooms in the forests where it has a thick layer of loamy leaves to grow in and it forms a carpet. It goes through underground rhizomes and sometimes by seed but the seed is very hard to germinate and it takes six years before it reaches flowering maturity. This is a red bud tree and here's a young specimen. They grow to be sort of a shrubby tree with beautiful gray bark and these pretty pink buds which will soon become blossoms that grow along the trunk and along the branches instead of being carried at the tips of twigs like most flowering trees. And this is in the Fabaceae, or the pea and bean family, believe it or not. And when the flowers are pollinated, they have a fruit or a seed which dangles below the branch and looks exactly like a green pea pod.